India's Chandrayaan-3 mission continues to make groundbreaking discoveries after its successful mission ended on the moon last year. The data beamed back by the Pragrayaan rover from the moon's south polar region has now led to the discovery of an ancient crater. It has discovered an ancient 160 kilometer wide crater near its landing site. Imagine standing on the moon peering down at an ancient impact crater, over 3.85 billion years old. It's hidden beneath layers of dust and rock, its secrets waiting to be uncovered. What would it reveal about the moon's earliest days? And perhaps our own origins? Recent analyses by scientists from the Physical Research Laboratory and the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, suggest that Chandrayaan-3 landed within a buried impact crater approximately 160 kilometers in diameter and about 4.4 kilometers deep. This crater is believed to date back to the Nectarian period, around 3.85 billion years ago, making it one of the moon's oldest craters. The Pragyan rover, deployed by the Vikram lander, conducted on-site observations and captured images revealing unique geological features at the landing site. These images showed ejecta, or material thrown out, from another impact crater further away, indicating that the landing site contains material from various lunar regions. This provides valuable insights into the moon's geological history and evolution. This opportunity represents a monumental leap in our understanding of the moon and its history. This ancient crater, with a diameter of 160 kilometers and a depth of about 4.4 kilometers, is a geological treasure trove, offering a rare opportunity to study one of the moon's oldest formations. The Nectarian period, marked by intense asteroid bombardment, was a critical era in shaping the lunar surface. Studying material from this period enables scientists to reconstruct the moon's geological history and understand the processes that governed its evolution. Such research doesn't just tell us about the moon, it sheds light on the broader history of our solar system, offering clues about the conditions that existed billions of years ago when planets, moons, and asteroids were forming and colliding. The ancient impact crater provides a kind of time capsule preserving material from a time when Earth was undergoing similar asteroid impacts. However, unlike Earth, which has active tectonics, weather, and erosion that erase much of its early history, the Moon's static environment has kept its surface largely unchanged for billions of years. This makes the Moon a unique laboratory for studying the early solar system. One of the most intriguing aspects of this discovery is the evidence of ejecta, or material thrown out from another impact crater further away, scattered across the landing site. This indicates that the region where Chandrayaan 3's Vikram lander touched down contains material from various parts of the moon, carried over by ancient impacts. This mixing of materials provides a rare opportunity to analyze and compare geological compositions from different lunar regions in a single location. Such analyses can deepen our understanding of how the Moon's surface evolved and reveal more about its internal structure. The presence of this varied material at the landing site raises questions about the Moon's crust and the processes that created its complex geological landscape. It also offers a chance to test hypotheses about the Moon's origins. For example, many scientists believe the Moon formed when a Mars-sized body collided with the early Earth ejecting material that eventually coalesced into the moon. By studying the composition of rocks and soil in this ancient crater, scientists can look for evidence supporting or challenging this theory. The potential implications of this discovery extend far beyond scientific curiosity. The buried crater could contain valuable resources such as rare minerals, water ice, or other materials essential for sustaining human presence on the moon. Identifying and mapping these resources is a critical step in planning future lunar exploration and colonization. Water ice, in particular, is of immense interest, as it can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen, providing fuel for spacecraft and life support for astronauts. This discovery highlights how lunar exploration is not just about science, but also about paving the way for humanity's future in space. The Moon is likely to serve as a stepping stone for deeper space exploration, including missions to Mars and beyond. Understanding its resources and geological features is crucial for developing the infrastructure needed for long-term human presence. The study of impact craters like the one at Chandrayaan-3's landing site also has implications for planetary defense. 
By learning more about how craters form and how material is ejected during impacts, scientists can improve their models for predicting the effects of asteroid collisions. This knowledge is critical for developing strategies to protect Earth from potential asteroid threats. The Moon, as a close and relatively accessible body, offers a natural testing ground for such studies. Its surface is covered in craters of all sizes, each one a record of an ancient collision. By studying these craters in detail, we can better understand the dynamics of impacts and how they shape planetary surfaces. This, in turn, could help us devise methods for deflecting or mitigating the effects of asteroids that might one day threaten Earth. The success of Chandrayaan-3 and the discoveries it has enabled also demonstrate the growing capability of space exploration technologies. The Vikram lander and Pragyan rover represent significant advancements in robotic exploration, capable of operating autonomously in harsh environments and capturing detailed data. These achievements inspire further technological innovation, encouraging nations and private companies to invest in space exploration. This mission also highlights the importance of international collaboration and shared knowledge. As space becomes an increasingly important frontier, missions like Chandrayaan-3 remind us that exploration is a global endeavor, benefiting all of humanity. Beyond the technological and scientific benefits, the discovery of this ancient crater has a philosophical dimension. It invites us to reflect on the vastness of time and the incredible events that shaped not only the moon, but also Earth and the entire solar system. The crater's age, 3.85 billion years, is a staggering reminder of the moon's longevity and its role as a witness to the solar system's history. By studying the moon, we learn about ourselves, how Earth evolved, how life might have arisen, and how our planet fits into the cosmic story. This perspective is humbling and inspiring, emphasizing the importance of preserving and understanding our own planet even as we reach for the stars. Chandrayaan 3's findings also have educational and cultural implications. The mission has captured the imagination of people around the world, particularly in India, where it represents a source of national pride and inspiration. It shows what is possible when curiosity and determination drive scientific inquiry. The images and data sent back by the mission have the power to inspire a new generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers, fostering a global interest in space and science. Education systems around the world can use this mission as a case study to teach about planetary science, robotics, and the importance of international collaboration. Looking ahead, the discoveries made by Chandrayaan-3 are likely to shape the direction of future lunar missions. The buried impact crater could become a target for more detailed exploration, potentially involving crewed missions. Advanced technologies like deep drilling systems or more sophisticated rovers could be used to study the crater's deeper layers, revealing secrets hidden for billions of years. Such missions could also test new technologies for resource extraction, habitation, and sustainable living on the moon. These developments would mark another step toward humanity's goal of becoming a multi-planetary species. One of the most fascinating aspects of the buried crater at Chandrayaan 3's landing site is how it contrasts with similar impact structures on Earth. While both the Moon and Earth experienced intense asteroid bombardment during the Nectarian period, Earth's active geology, driven by tectonics, volcanism, and erosion, has erased most evidence of its ancient craters. In contrast, the Moon's static environment has preserved these formations for billions of years, making it a unique record of the early solar system. Studying this crater, estimated to be 3.85 billion years old, provides a rare glimpse into a time when both Earth and the Moon were undergoing similar asteroid impacts. This helps us piece together Earth's early history, a period largely lost to geological recycling, and sheds light on the processes that shaped both planetary bodies. By analyzing the Moon's preserved history, scientists can better understand the events that may have also influenced Earth's surface, potentially including the delivery of water or organic compounds essential for life. The energy released during massive asteroid collisions helps scientists refine models of impact mechanics, including how kinetic energy is distributed during such events. On the Moon, the absence of atmospheric interference allows craters to form in their purest form, preserving key details like the distribution of ejecta and the shape of the impact structure. By studying this, researchers can better understand the processes of shockwave propagation, material vaporization, 
and the formation of secondary craters. These findings are directly applicable to Earth, where similar impacts in its early history likely played a role in shaping its surface, delivering key materials, or triggering events like mass extinctions. Additionally, this lunar crater offers a chance to analyze the mixing of material from different regions caused by ancient impacts, shedding light on how debris was dispersed and recycled across planetary surfaces. This knowledge not only informs the history of planetary evolution, but also enhances our ability to predict and mitigate the effects of future asteroid collisions on Earth. Analyzing this ancient crater offers broader insights into the intensity, frequency, and effects of asteroid activity during the early solar system. The crater's estimated age of 3.85 billion years places it in the late heavy bombardment LHB era, a time when asteroid and comet impacts were common throughout the solar system. Studying its structure and the material within it can reveal the size, speed, and composition of the impacting body, offering clues about the population of asteroids and their origins. This helps scientists reconstruct the chaotic dynamics of the early solar system, such as the migration of giant planets, which may have gravitationally destabilized smaller bodies and sent them hurtling inward toward terrestrial planets and moons. The presence of ejecta from distant lunar regions at the site also demonstrates how such impacts played a role in redistributing materials, shaping planetary crusts, and potentially delivering volatile substances like water. These findings provide a window into how planets, including Earth, accumulated essential ingredients for habitability and how their surfaces were sculpted in their formative years. Ultimately, this crater serves as a preserved snapshot of an era that defined the architecture and composition of our solar system as we know it today. In summary, the discovery of an ancient buried impact crater at Chandrayaan 3's landing site is a landmark moment in lunar exploration. It provides an unprecedented opportunity to study the moon's early history, understand the processes that shaped its surface, and explore resources that could support future exploration. The mission's success demonstrates the power of technological innovation and international collaboration, inspiring hope and curiosity about humanity's place in the universe. It also serves as a reminder of the importance of preserving our home planet. Even as we reach out to explore new worlds, this discovery is not just a scientific milestone, it is a testament to humanity's enduring quest for knowledge and our ability to dream beyond the boundaries of Earth.